Half a dozen sailors have joined into the first of the United Kingdom next generation warships, Type 26 frigate HMS Glasgow, under construction in her namesake city, to begin turning a lifeless hull into the world's most advanced submarine hunter. The ship is the first of eight Type 26 frigates which will safeguard both the nation's nuclear deterrence and its aircraft carrier strike groups from interference from hostile submarines. HMS Glasgow is currently on the hard standing at BAE Systems Yard in Govan, where shipwrights, technicians and engineers are completing the hull and superstructure. Prince William has revealed his delighted wife Kate Middleton has been appointed the sponsor of HMS Glasgow. The Type 26 frigate HMS Glasgow, whose sponsor is the Duchess of Cambridge known as the Countess of Strathern when visiting Scotland is sufficiently complete for the Royal Navy to begin assigning sailors to her. As the frigate's sponsor, the Duchess of Cambridge will attend the naming ceremony of the Type 26 frigate HMS Glasgow when it is ready to hit the waters and will also take part in milestones relating to the ship throughout its service, both for the vessel itself and for the crew aboard. The Trailblazers will produce the ship's operators manual, determining how HMS Glasgow will be run, her routines, her systems and senses to make her an effective fighting force when she enters service later this decade. It's also their task to give HMS Glasgow her soul, to set the tone for an active career of 25 years or more, building bonds with her sponsor, affiliates such as the City of Glasgow, Army and Royal Air Force units, charities and community groups. Sir Simon Lister, Managing Director of BAE Systems Naval Ships Business, presented the ship first two junior ratings, leading writer Hayden Palmer and logistician leading hand Samuel Halofaki, with the inaugural Type 26 frigate HMS Glasgow cap tallies. The ship company is the lifeblood of a warship, said Commander Phil Burgess, both the warship marine engineer officer and senior naval officer, representing the commanding officer until one is appointed further along in the ship life. With Royal Navy personnel joining HMS Glasgow for the first time, we have reached a key milestone that will enable the engineering, administrative and organizational foundations to be established. These are necessary for a modern-day warship to function efficiently and effectively, and by starting now we can best support the build and transition into service of HMS Glasgow. BAE Systems is working with Dell Technologies on delivering innovative digital capability for the new Type 26 frigates HMS Glasgow, the collaboration will deliver a shared infrastructure to host the ship essential systems, including a number provided by third parties, on a single, reliable digital platform. It will take full advantage of scalable, open, and coherent technology while providing enhanced durability, state-of-the-art security, and data protection. Additionally, the reduced footprint of the solution will provide environmental benefits. The integrative approach of these two industry leaders builds on the successful deployment of a shared infrastructure solution across numerous other frontline naval platforms, including the Queen Elizabeth-class aircraft carriers. It has already demonstrated exceptional operational reliability and reduced through life costs, helping to future-proof the fleet and allow rapid capability deployment. Leading hand Halofaki will be responsible for making sure HMS Glasgow has all the requisite equipment and stores aboard, as well as the supporting documentation. I'm delighted to have joined as the first logistics expert in the first of ship of the Type 26 frigate class. It's exciting to be part of the team delivering a new ship into service in the Royal Navy and I'm looking forward to playing my part in that, said the father of three who has already helped to bring HMS Trent, HMS Tamar and HMS Spey into service. Sir Simon said he was proud to welcome the first sailors aboard to work with BAE Systems teams to together forge an extremely versatile, capable and powerful addition to the Royal Navy fleet. He continued, together with the men and women who will live and work on board HMS Glasgow, 
we look forward to using our collective skill and knowledge to bring her to life completing the installation and commissioning of the key systems that will give her the vital capability to serve the Royal Navy for decades to come. HMS Glasgow is the first of an initial batch of three ships all named after Great United Kingdom cities, followed by HMS Cardiff and HMS Belfast. Operating from Devonport Naval Base, the Type 26 frigates will be equipped with bow and towed array sonars, plus carry a Wildcat or Merlin helicopter, for submarine hunting missions. A 5 inches gun and vertical launch missile silo, plus an adaptable mission bay will provide the offensive punch and capability of the frigates. The Type 26 frigate HMS Glasgow is a cutting-edge warship that will maintain our naval power with a truly global reach. Designed for a service life of at least 25 years, the Type 26 frigate's HMS Glasgow will form a backbone of the future Royal Navy surface fleet well into the future. The Type 26 frigate HMS Glasgow is an advanced anti-submarine warfare frigate that will provide essential protection to our nuclear deterrent and aircraft carriers, building on the pedigree of the Royal Navy current Type 23 frigates. Its flexible design will allow its weapon systems to be adapted throughout its lifespan to counter future threats. The Type 26 benefits from the latest advances in digital technologies. The Royal Navy Type 26 frigates will securing the long-term future of the Scottish shipbuilding industry. The contract is specifically structured to motivate both sides to deliver a successful outcome where both parties share in the pain and gain in the delivery of the program. This will deliver better value for money for the United Kingdom taxpayer.